Hey everyone, it's Pixelade here. It's been a while since I've last spoken to you. Things have been pretty quiet with EA and just the Sims community in general with everything that's going on in the world. But first of all, I hope you guys are staying home. I hope you are safe and I hope you are healthy. Sim Guru Frost took to Twitter today, March 31st at 4.27 p.m. tweeting, I've seen some people asking about what we're up to and communication has been a bit sparse. So I've been working with various team members to have a cool blog post go out hopefully next week that you won't want to miss. What do you think this is about? I don't want to jump to any conclusions and you know assume that they're going to be putting out new content for the game. I am pretty sure that the employees at EA are currently working from home according to their last statement. I do have a video on the coronavirus situation and how it's affecting EA on my channel. I will have that linked down in the comment section below to find out more information on that situation. But I don't know guys, if they're working from home, I think it's possible that we could be getting some sort of free patch with hopefully some new assets for the game. So to jump into the community's response to Frost's tweet, Simmer Will tweets, will this newsletter include any timeline about upcoming release or will it be a general we're working from home on new content we can't talk about message? I'd really prefer the former. Also would love some insight into the knitting stuff pack development element and how this impacts it. Oh, I definitely agree with that. With everything going on, I'm sure that a lot of their current projects are being put on hold. I would not be surprised if they are. I hope they're still working on them from home, but it's definitely going to be pushed back in some sort of way. With everything going on, it's kind of obvious. Junior on Twitter tweets, I feel we will get a new swatch for the hot tub, but I'll keep my expectations low this time. Many were disappointed with the hot tub for the 20th and anniversary update. So yes, I think it's best that we keep our expectations low. Kenta makes a really good point tweeting, careful Frost, don't hype it too much. And yes, I agree because I feel like that happened last time. I feel like they hyped up that update so much. And then when it finally came out, everyone was just like, this is it. I totally expected more than we got. And Rudy tweets, we finally getting cars and a baby update. Don't want to miss that. Indeed, it took years. I don't think it's that. Please do not get your hopes up for that because there is a probably 99% chance it is not that, I can assure you. But I could be wrong and I would love to be proven wrong. Let me know your thoughts on this post and what you think it could be. Frost just mentions a blog post, but normally blog posts release when there is new content in the near future. Share your thoughts down in the comment section below. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, add it to your favorites playlist right here on YouTube and click the subscribe button to become a little lemon. You can ding that little bell next to the subscribe button and what that will do is it will ping you a notification every time I upload a new video. I love you guys and I'll see you all next time. So long.